Ten bucks says Team Gohan wins it all, unless Goku knows Super Saiyan 3, then Goku wins all rounds, hands down. Or will he? <laughs> Hello there, peoples of the internet, I'm TigerJ15 and welcome to Game Over, the internet show where sometimes instead of using Hadoukens, we like to use Kamehamehas. Speaking of Kamehamehas, let's talk about Goku. If you don't know, I do an animated series on my channel called Game, which stands for Gaming and Anime Multiverse Extravaganza. Pretty much, it's a gigantic tournament between video game and anime characters. Recently, I've been getting comments saying that Goku is going to take the cake and win the tournament. But my question to you is, is Goku the fastest or strongest character in the tournament? Now, before we get started, we could easily do this with any of the other sea fighters, like Vegeta, Piccolo, or Gohan. However, I believe we can all agree that Goku is the strongest Z fighter. Now on with the show! Let's start with Goku's strength. Now, as we all know, the max weight that Goku can lift in his base form is 40 tons. If we were to just use this without any additional gravity training or any other weight being put into equation, then, using the Super Saiyan multipliers, Goku would be able to lift 160,000 tons. Now, you're probably wondering if I've used the multiplier for Super Saiyan 4 instead of the recent Super Saiyan God. The answer to this is yes. Now, I do understand that Super Saiyan 4 isn't canon, neither is the rest of GT. However, there are two reasons why I'm using it. Number one, this being the most important, Super Saiyan God doesn't have an official multiplier yet, unlike the other forms. So, it would be no use guessing until it's officially stated. Number two, whereas Super Saiyan 4 isn't canon, we are in fact trying to work out Goku's maximum. Which is why Super Saiyan 4 is needed in this situation, canon or not. So, that's pretty good, but as we all know, Goku has done additional training. So, let's take that into effect. Goku has trained at 100 times Earth's gravity, which would make everything Goku trains with 100 times heavier. Whereas, it is true that Goku has never officially trained with 40 tons in 100 times gravity, However, it stands to reason that the more he trained in that 100 times gravity, the more he'd get used to lifting not only his own body weight, but the 40 tons in that 100 times gravity. So, what was once 160,000 tons becomes 16 million tons. That's even better than before, but we are forgetting two other factors in this scenario. And that would be Goku's own body weight and the weight of his training clothes. Goku's weight, as stated, is 62 kilograms or 137 pounds, which equates to 0 0.0716502 tons. And with Goku's weighted training clothes, during this 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament, Goku explains that Kami had him use the weighted training clothes as part of his training routine at the lookout. When Tien holds all of his weighted training clothes, he estimates that the weight of the clothes is at least 250 pounds, or 0 0.125 tons. So, let's put this all together. With Goku's own weight, plus the weight of his training clothes, and the 40 tons, then put through the Super Saiyan multipliers, and then times by 100, it equals 16,078,660.08 tons. Which is quite mind-blowing. But the question does remain, is that all? Is this the maximum we can calculate for Goku? Certainly not. 
because we can go even further. Now, even though he has never trained at it, we can calculate what it would be like if he were to train at 500 times Earth's gravity. So, using the exact same formula, instead using 500 times instead of 100 times, we see that the result is 80,393,900.4 tons. So, that's Goku's maximum potential that we can calculate. But even that 16 million tons, it's nothing to sneeze at. Superman. <coughs> so, that's Goku's strength. But, what about his speed? Well, Goku's speed is surprisingly easier to figure out. Now, originally I was going to use Snakeway as an example, since it is a million kilometers and it only took Goku 28 hours in order to get from there to Earth. However, there were too many variables involved, like to the fact that Snakeway is full of curves. But luckily, I managed to find an even better example. When Goku was on Namek fighting Jace and Berta, now, as you can see from this scene, Jace and Berta continually fire key blasts at Goku. However, he's moving so fast that it looks like he isn't moving at all. This, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, is him traveling at light speed. Now, the light doesn't have a chance to reflect off Goku into everyone else's eyes because he's moving faster than light, which makes it look like that Goku is in fact standing still. So, okay, we can say Goku is traveling faster than light speed, but since we don't know how much faster, let's just say it's the speed of light. So, let's take this speed and put it through the multipliers. This gives us the speed of 2,682,466,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
making Goku actually faster. However, here's the realism of this situation. In-game, Super Saiyan 4 never makes an appearance in the series, so Goku can't actually reach his full potential. And Super Saiyan God can't make an appearance in the series for two reasons. There aren't six Saiyans pure of heart at the tournament, and two, it goes against the rules of not interfering with a match, meaning that Goku can only reach a maximum of Super Saiyan 3, meaning that Goku's maximum speed in the series will be 268,246,651,600 miles per hour, which is more than one third of Sonic's top speed. So, as we can see, Goku isn't the strongest or the fastest character in the series. But does that mean he can't win? Well, certainly not. In a series where everyone's favourite anime and video game characters are able to interact and compete with each other, anything's a possibility. So don't be gloomy Dragon Ball and game fans, because soon you'll be able to see what Goku can really do. Thanks for watching.